All right, I gotta go to class. Do we still have ultimate frisbee practice tonight? Yep. All right, cool, I'll see you there. I, uh, I I just transferred here, and uh, I, where's Petro Pet, Petrocelli? Are you taking Doomsday Prep 101? Yeah, cool. So am I. Oh, sweet, awesome. I'm, I felt ridiculous being the only upperclassman in there because I know it's generally a freshman course. Oh, don't even worry about it. It took me till my senior year to take it. Oh, nice. All right. So, where's Petrocelli? Look this way. Well, Mr. Smith certainly is an interesting guy. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. Hey, are you, uh, doing anything later? No, I was just gonna hang out in my dorm. Oh, well, me and my roommates were gonna make popcorn and watch The Emperor's New Crew. Do you wanna come? Yeah, sounds cool. What time? Uh, 8 o'clock? Yeah, perfect. I'll see you then. Awesome. <laughs> hey, dude, we should hang out more. Yeah, absolutely, man. Just text me anytime. Awesome. All right, cool. Later. See ya. So I didn't see John at practice today. Yeah, he had work. You're into him, aren't you? What makes you say that? Remember Carly? How you knew I had a crush on her before I did? <laughs> All right, point taken. Do you even know if he's into you? Not sure. Just take it slow. No need to rush into things. Dude, I've been in the closet all my life. It's about time I made a change. Yeah, but he may not be into you. <sighs> no worries. I'm gonna ask him this week. Just be careful, alright man? Dude. I got a good feeling about this. Hey John. I've been meaning to ask you something. Well, burritos for dinner again? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but that's not it. I can't help but feel like there's something special between us. And I didn't know if you wanted to take our friendship one step farther. Peter, man, I'm just... I, I don't swing that way. Um, oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean to... No. I'm just not into that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. John, wait!
Dude, where have you been? You've missed every frisbee practice this week. Are you doing all right? Peter. 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 Oh, thank God. We gotta get you out of here. It's not safe. Charlie? What's going on? Don't what's call all, me, Charlie. What's all that noise? That noise is why I DF securing the perimeter, which is very hard when you're hungover. What? Look, we don't have much time. My name is Charles. I'm the head of your internal defense force, also known as YIDF. I'm here to protect you from threats both foreign and domestic. Protect me? What? You fell and hit your head. Your body's fine. Minor concussion, maybe. But your mind is under heavy assault. From who? Or... Or what? Your depression. My what? When John turned you down, you got really depressed. Devastated, actually. Now normally, me and the guys down here can protect you from being too overwhelmed by the sad feelings. But when you drink, ignore your friends, and try and hide away from everything that happens in the world, it makes our job very difficult. So you're in my mind fighting to protect me? Commander Charles, we're being overrun. Oh. Alright, we need to move him to safety. Now. Yes, sir. Hey, that's the kid from my bio class. Yeah, who do you think your mind soldiers are? We're the people who are your friends in real life. Really? Yes. We're here for you. Now let's go. What do we need to move? We have a car on standby. But seriously, bro, it's so much easier trying to take care of you when you take care of yourself in real life. Try and lay off the booze. I'll remember that for next time. There may not be a next time if we don't get you out of here now. Wait, can't I just wake myself up? You're in too deep. We need to battle back the overwhelming depression that's keeping us here right now. Me? Be back the emotional tide? You're the one with the gun. I can protect you, but you're the only one that can actually get all these people out of here. The guys out there don't go away until you come to your senses. Follow me thus far? Just one more question. What happens if I can't beat the demons? You don't wake up. Oh. That, or you slip into a state of psychotic depression and throw yourself off a bridge. Alright, coast is clear, let's go! Don't worry, they'll respawn in a bit. My mind soldiers respawn? Yep. We're not important here. We're expendable. You're not. We can only win this if you fight with us. Where are we going? I don't know. It's your mind. You can't- just because John turned you down doesn't mean your life is over. Uh, my head's starting to feel a little woozy. Damn. We don't have much time then. I need, I need to be somewhere else. I need to be somewhere peaceful so I can think. Whoa. How'd we get here? How am I supposed to know? It's your mind. I just protect the damn thing. Wait. I recognize this place. No. Wait. Go ahead and shoot me, darling. It ain't gonna do you no good. That gun of yours won't work in here. Who are you? I'm you. Or more importantly, I'm your heart and your soul. What? Oh, come on now. Don't be so down. We are in your mind. We are all part of you. I'm sure they realize that G.I. Joe here represents your courage, your selflessness, your bravery, blah, 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 blah. I am your motivation. I am your hope. I am your willpower that gets you out of bed every morning. You're in a pickle, aren't you? Putting all of your hopes and desires into one person, a risky decision to say the least. Now look at you. Your mind is overrun by those blasted thoughts of gloom and despair. But I love him. You knew him for like two weeks. That's child's life. 
these dark thoughts. I, I don't know how to beat them. You can't beat them. That's motivational. You can't beat them because they're a part of you. All emotions have their place, even the dark and gloomy ones. But you can't let the gloom control you. Maybe you're right. I am right. The problem isn't that you fell and hit rock bottom. It's that you stayed there. You need to stick up for yourself. You're worth more than that. Yeah. You know what I am. That's the spirit. Now go kick that gloomy guy's ass and go back to your friends in the real world. Adventure is waiting. We should get moving. It won't be long before they find us here. Hey. Thanks. You know it. Where to now? To end this. We'll head back to your place. We'll make our final stand there. Commander Charles, it's almost upon us. Damn, this isn't an optimal position. Where are the rest of our soldiers? All dead, sir. Our weapons had no effect. Change in plan. We'll have to make our final stand here. Wait, I'm not ready. We're almost out of time. Hi ho, Silva! Hi! Do you fear me, Peter? You have no power here, John. Is that who you think I am? You're just a fabrication of my mind. My worst enemy. All of my sadness and depression rolled up into the thing I hate most. You're right. I am the thing you hate most. You don't blame John for not liking you. You blame yourself. No! You're a worthless, pathetic human. Don't even bother standing up. Your life isn't worth it. That's where you're wrong. Uh, he's far from the pathetic creature that you are. <laughs> you're alone in this world, Peter. Stop telling yourself any different. I'm not alone. I'm stronger than you'll ever be. <laughs> Done. You know, that actually felt kind of good. That's what happens when you stand up to your inner demons. I guess Felicia was right. Nah, you were right. What's going on? You've finally beaten back your demons. You're going back to the real world. It's been a pleasure. When you wake up, you'll find that I'll always be there for you. Thank you. Peter. 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 Oh. oh, my God. You were starting to worry me. Charles? Dude, you've known me for 12 years. It's Charlie, not Charles. Dude, I just had the weirdest dream. You can tell me on the way. We're gonna go see a movie. Adventure is waiting. Nothing. Yeah, I'll go. Cool.
Yeah, you should probably stick to Frisbee. Yeah. 